Here we are. We are going to play through Alice Madness Returns. I am thinking that I can always turn down the difficulty later. No. Oh, that would be terrible. Anyways, I did post the full playthrough of American McGee's Alice a while back, and I figured now was a good time as any to do a full playthrough of the sequel. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm trapped. In my past. Sergeant, this girl's badly burned. Call for a doctor. She'll be all right. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm, it's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Bravo! No, not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now... Before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Oh, that is fucked up. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm impressed. I always forget just how ridiculous this is at Web the start. Lumas. <laughs> These are some ridiculously ugly children. I love all the little quips, too. They put tons of effort into this game. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? I... Okay, I won't go too far around. Just so that things don't, uh, interact. Oh, boy. Oh, right. I could just walk around in first person. Nice. Do you right? Still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. <laughs> anyway, I've played this game so many times. Countless at this point. It's been out for a long time now since it was an Xbox 360 game. 
and ah boy I've played it at other people's houses I've owned it now two or three times myself but I've never finished it Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Doctor's pet. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Let's see. Best I can remember, the furthest I've ever been is the area with all of the bug people. That shouldn't be very much of a spoiler. And I've seen the last part of the game and the final boss fight, but my memories are so patchy of that particular day. There's no way I would remember. No. Hang off, Missy. Move along. Okay, fine. No, I won't hang out with you. I do think it's funny that Alice is the most human-looking person here. I mean, yeah, you gotta have a character that looks decent, at least. I mean, can you imagine if we played as him? Oh, this would not be the same kind of game. At least he's happy. Nice day for chopping me. <laughs> ah, I'm stealing things from freaking Viva La Dirt League. Don't be afraid. Oh, yes, I gotta follow kitty cat. I always follow kitty cats. Skinny little kitty. And it's gone. Oh, I tried to keep have my camera keep up with it. Ah, I see you over there. But... Now, where has that cat gone? Oh, yeah, where, where indeed? What's going on here, huh? Okay. Let's finish following the kitty cat. Boy, everybody looks like they're doing terrible. Except for the guy who's obviously the pin. No change in nappies. Better than being a dog's body for orphan. Make someone happy. Save the world. Two minutes at a time. Jesus Christ. I mean I called it, but hot See, damn, I didn't think we were gonna get cat calls. has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Hmm, it's definitely gonna get you into troubles. Oh, that, not those kind of bug people. If that's a bug. The stars and guys. <laughs> Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own. You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Oh, Still that's honest. something. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bumby's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep 
I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kind of remember her name? What I heard. Jesus Christ, old lady, exploiting the shit out of her. What an absolute nightmare. Nurse Whitless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a thirst you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing. Yeah, fuck her clothes, anyway. I mean, shit. I'd wear that. Probably not, but... <clears throat> that would be funny. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. Yeah. About time too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Yes, be on my guard. I have no weapons, but I will be guarding. At least I can double. Yes, apparently I do. <laughs> Such weird animals all over. Everything's just like you would expect. And boy, did they do a good job making this game pretty. Every time I see it. It's always very nice. Looks a lot nicer on my computer than it ever did on a Xbox to me as well. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. I cannot shrink at the moment. Scalia, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. I mean, unless you boil it or, you know, dry it in the correct manner, and then it's totally fine. Um, still retains some side effects as long as you don't get it to the wrong temperature. Some very fun side effects. I will not go about saying anything else about that, but, I mean, it is a uh, religious before. ceremony. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, 
You can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. <laughs> I love all the charm and witty humor the game has as well. Yes, yes. Hold the shrink. Be the shrink. How small she's become. All curled up, she's barely there. A vixen in her hiding hole. <laughs> All right, one tiny hole gone through. Next tiny hole to go through. Up here, or ha ha. I don't know what the flower's there for. I mean, ah, free teeth early on. I will need all of that. Oh, holy shit. I almost missed you just hanging out. I don't know how you're literally a rainbow. That doesn't hide very well. As with normal, I'll pick anything apart that doesn't make actual sense, but being that this is a world made not to make sense, there's not that going to be that much that I can complain about. So I may just end up complimenting this game a lot, which would be very rare for me, even for a game that I like. Oh! Oh, I am done. I did not mean to finish. I'm pretty sure there was other stuff to do in there, but all right, off I go. This game is platformer and puzzle solver before it is a combat game. So it is a little bit more relaxing, but that's also why I put it on nightmare difficulty. Because why not? Let's make this hard. Then I won't just be sprinting through every single encounter, and I'll actually have to get good at the combat of the game. Oh, right. So here's here's a nice little turn. The river of fucking blood. And the obvious place where something was splatted down after going down the slide. Beautiful. So, this... This right here is a nice little callback. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Now, that Vorpal Blade. I really like the way this thing fucking works. And it only gets better throughout the game as you upgrade it. <laughs> yes, what about right there? I see that I missed a few things, but flight or fight implies a permanent choice. But flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. Well, anyways. Oh, cool. Now that I have the Vorpal Blade, I have multiple jumps unlocked. I find that interesting. So, the blade itself makes Alice stronger. At least by that lad logic, magically stronger. <laughs> Repeated thrusts. Those are slices. All right, now we fight two at the same time. A bleak, gross, and evil in a single monstrosity. Oh, the audio's very, very good. Switches back and forth real nice. Headphones is fun. I should have this recorded properly for that to come through. I don't know. It's actually something I should check.
I don't know if uh, YouTube would uh, a flower's purpose is miss with that or not. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Yes, yes, I already figured out that I could do that. Thank you for telling me, though. Real sweet of you. You're... I really be like being able to triple jump, though. Quadruple jump? Yeah, quadruple jump. I would really like it if Destiny would let me quadruple jump again. Or Destiny 2, that is. Destiny 1 does. If you do things right. But no, no, there we go. This game's just like, oh, you, you want platforming? I'll give you precision with your platforming. That's actually intuitive and easy to figure out, because they just let you jump more. Nice. Ah, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. <laughs> Why do I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the di a girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. So, we get our ranged option. Pepper Grinder. This game's nice, and you just press the trigger, and it goes into aim mode. If you're locked on, then it does not go into aim mode. Super handy stuff. Ah, it's a hog nest for screw flies. Cool. I mean, that still does way more damage than... Yeah. So it's easy as just to move on over. Difficulty really isn't a big deal if I just don't fucking get hit. There's one I missed. Wow, that is a stiff aim. I will not be able to continue fighting quite so aggressively in the later game, though. Yes, I understand the snouts. I am getting tutorialed so hard, and it will stop before terrible long, but, oh. oh. Yes, yes, you, you get, you get peppered, and you just go straight into her pot, because it's a magical pepper grinder. And if you season things that aren't for the pot, and that means specifically not pork, then it just dies. I mean... <laughs> it's like failing cooking on purpose. Oh, no, I think that was it. That was all I needed to do. Duh. It opened the door for me to go back and uh, have another chat. Thank you so much for the snout. 
Now go away. Ah, yes. My reward. Nice. Lots of money. Which one is it? There we go. Even though I am a dedicated PC player now, and by dedicated I mean why would I spend money buying something else, unless it's, you know, something I already own. Oh no! Things I can't reach! Ah, I've overheated it. Well, let's get moved over first. Hey, okay, that's one problem. I'm just gonna go right by these guys. Ooh, can't leave that, but I am. Oh, no, no, I gotta finish this encounter before that stuff will move. Yeah, good try, guys. All right, now you can have my attention. Is there another nest? There is. Come on. Cool down faster. All right. <clears throat> Last one. There we go. Encounter successful. Oh, so silly looking. I guess I could have shot that while doing that and been able to get over there, but it's fine. Finish your soup, girls. Both and I gave their all for it. You made soup out of calf? What a sad time. Give me a rinse. You know, it really looked like there was supposed to be something over there. Oh, looks like I'm breaking everything down here anyways. Not like I'm attempting to run this fast or anything. Uh, put it on Nightmare so that I could go at a leisurely pace. Well, it's worse than normal because normally... I'd be able to play Nightmare like I did the first time I played it, where it was on New Game Plus already. Courtesy of footing. But that Xbox died, and footing got locked out of their Microsoft account because Microsoft decided that she needed to call them to verify who she was, and then... Shortly after they locked her out like that, they, or shortly before, they had decided, oh god, those are gross. They had decided to turn off their call center and just make it a um, online only, not online only, over the phone only, and online. There's two ways of getting a hold of your stuff. She couldn't do it. It was silliness. Oh my god, they hit hard. I finally got hit by a few things. Well, that sounds about right. So yes, the, the challenge is don't get hit more than a few times. If it gets too hard, then I will turn it down. 
but at the very least, I plan to keep it interesting for a while. Not that this game wouldn't be interesting otherwise. Murder, murder, murder. Off the edge with you. So, I don't think I'm seeing it. Maybe it's because other enemies do it, but there is a very easy tell for doing your dodges where there's like a big old wind up and like the game almost feels like it goes into slow motion for a moment. And I haven't had any of those happen yet. Not that I could notice. Maybe one just happened, but what the fuck is that? What am I following? You're right, I will want to do that. That time, I just dodged into it. Oh, fuck. There it goes, they got me. Yes, I'd like to continue. This is excellent. I am going to- I don't want to switch enemies. I want to break the hive so that I don't have to worry about any of the- Oh, hey, would you look at that. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get a bottle while I'm fighting. It is just the bottle. And now these guys are the only ones. Well, of them. Ah, ah, ah! I didn't realize they stick to you. They're like mosquitoes. Give me the heart. That's not enough to take another hit, but... Yeah, not waiting. Alright, am I good? Yes. Read this as your life depends on it, because it does. Gather these pearly whites to prevent your premature arrival before, before the pearly gates. My friends can use the choppers, and you'll improve your weapon's capacity. Yes, immediately. Thank you. Much good. Bye bye Imagine if you didn't have enough teeth at that point to do it. It'd be really sad. Hatta always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. <laughs> Yes, off to see the Hatter first, that's right. We'll see how far we get in. I'm not entirely sure, but I usually don't make my videos last over an hour. For this series, I might make them a little bit longer. Might have to at certain points, but for this first one, I think we're gonna be good at under. I really don't know. Holy shit, I barely fucking made it. All right, shoot shells. Well, my health is up enough to take a hit again. I think I take four hearts. Dang. Four roses. She is so chill about all of this. The most nonchalant. No, actually, I think it took six. 
for like five and a half. Nothing attacking me, that's nice. Ah, oh, yes. Time to fight tea kettles. Oh, goblins. Yeah, once you get their helmet off, you can get them with the tea kettle or the pepper grinder pretty good. Yeah, you're next. Ow, you little fucker. Death, death to you all. I've also seen like only the one spot to heal at. Okay, yes, <clears throat> I was right. Also, I dodged that one. I totally dodged that one. But I was right, on easier difficulties, there's a moment of hesitation that the game gives you as a dodge window that this one does not. However, starting at, God damn it, I'm not even at max health yet. Eh, it's okay. Yes, yes. Fuck. Gotta take out these guys without getting hit, or else what am I gonna do about the guy that I actually have to dodge? Pretty sure letting the attack combo fall all or follow all the way through without dodging in between is slower? Okay, what the fuck? I dodge, I'm behind him, I take damage. I am calling so much horse shit on this. Yep, I'll kill them again. Camera, you are doing the bad. Oh, off with his head. All right, if I dodge through him this time, yes, I know how to fucking dodge. See, it works better if I don't walk on. What are you attacking, Alice? Really, what were you after that's up there? Are we done? I think we're done. He, like, kicked that down real... Oh, okay, there's more. Get fucked. I like that it spins itself down and what the god damn it, it did do the slow thing there. Ah, I didn't think he was gonna attack from that far away. Holy shit, this is ridiculously fucking hard. Fine. Fine. No, I see why my last time that I was playing, it was on hard. Because Nightmare is actually a bit too fucking much. Seriously, what the fuck was that about? 
That and the glitchy, I can't dodge behind him even though it dodges behind him. I will be putting in a bunch of fixes before I play this game next. I'll be upping the frame rate. Everything should be looking a little bit more sharp after I do. Gonna make it play as good as possible. This isn't so bad now. Ah, I got hit, but he didn't insta-kill me. That's nice. All right, so Nightmare is them just pushing you to do no hit mode. With a little bit of forgiveness. I'm not here for that. Good fuck, this game isn't that easy that I can just hop into it and do that. I mean, if you're doing nightmare mode with no upgrades, if you do it no game plus, I'm sure it'll be fine. That time I just dodged into him. What the fuck is this about? Never mind, that's something I can ask all the time. And oh my goodness, would you look at that? A health flower all of a sudden. That's gosh darn conveniently all of a sudden in the game again. There's fucking three of them. Maybe I was being silly and I just didn't see any of them. And, the, and or they weren't, were there a bit ago. God, fuck, that's really gonna bother me. What? Oh, okay. I thought I hit a rock and the rock hit me back. Ooh, it's a golden bottle. I don't know what all the bottles are about. I do like collectibles, though. Fucking creepy children, get back here. Oh my god, they just it run so quick all of a sudden. Way, Alice. You remember Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. <sighs> spontaneous combustion is quite a thing to have happened to somebody. That little bastard. So hard to hit. Okay, yes. Hmm, so that's the Hatter's Clockwork Domain. <laughs> this is one hell of a horn. Like the horn in the center of Helm's Deep. Holy shit. The Hatter's Domain, almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. 
I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. Just straight through the wall. Nice. All right. Well, that was the opening level of the game. Entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. Ah, yes, valves. I think that I'll be fine without getting that tutorial message again next time I play. I'm gonna call it good right here, but as always, I adore this game. All of its scenery gives me gigantic clockwork and bullshit right off the back, and it never stops giving you bullshit. Wonderful. Anyways, bye.